come to get him. You gotta be real keen on this shit. All right. Say that, say this. You gotta watch a lot of these niggas that's coming out speaking against them now. <laughs> Black 100, spoken defense, put the nigga up there. Now he got an interview with this nigga here. Talking about tune in to the Whack 100 show. You Pyro, on Pyro. You on gang shit. Here you are. Clickbait, getting into some more shit, whole shit. That's how you disrespect Nip, but that's a whole nother scenario, right? Watch these men today. You had the YouTube movement, Me Too, women coming out, black women coming out, holding black women accountable. I think this should be the time black men, men, in general, however they want to call the shit, all these superheroes that claim they love women so much, but your religion say other. Your belief theory say other. Your church system say other, nigga. History say other. Like the white woman had no rights along with Shaka Zulu and them. You hear me? So you gotta watch these men and you gotta think if Africa Bombada been exposed years ago, LL Cool J. You hear me, LL? Shit, Eddie Murphy. Back then. Frogs from the Fugees. All kinds of shit. Pedophilia, you see, polite situation. All on the Dr. York, don't know nothing about the situation. But I'm just saying, accusations, right? A lot of these men starting to come forth now because of spotlight on them. Now they want to throw Diddy under the bus. Nigga, you. You too. See, they try to put some shit on me talking about a pregnant woman, such and such. Nigga. My girls never called no motherfucking police about me ever getting physical with them. You hear me? But my mindset back then from watching my uncles, watching my cousins do this type of shit, Watching these females get off on that type of shit, laugh about it, provoke them. I'm thinking this is how men supposed to conduct themselves coming from a hood aspect when you ain't got no father up under the motherfucking roof. When I'm seeing my dad throwing bottles and shit, snap one time, hearing stories about how he was finna drag my mother to the motherfucking river. <laughs> DNA, nigga. On top of that, society. Y'all niggas groomed to be against the women. See, I be thinking about my daughter now, reincarnation and shit. You know, the mindset, the mind frame of who we are. Have to teach her the tricks and trades of these fuck niggas. The same fuck niggas that's sitting out here hollering this shit, and then some of these niggas that's really doing that type of shit ain't saying nothing. But see, when you in Hollywood, What they talking about, Epstein tapes and shit? You hear me? The Diddy tapes? Surviving Diddy got motherfuckers out here complaining, talking about how 50 trying to throw a black man under the bus. See, soon as you fuck around the carpet, call these niggas, here come the new Negro race. You hear me? They think this shit just social tainment, like R. Kelly fans and shit. They don't give no fucks about women. Women. A lot of these women spoke against Cassie and shit. You hear me? Cassie put herself in that boat of entertainment. Young girl, you know, striving and shit. Ain't no telling what she been through, but what's crazy about the shit with him, you got the Kim Porter situation. So many deaths. I ain't even got a question the biggest situation after the seeing the interview on MTV. The interview when he spoke. Now, he kept looking off this way before Gene Deal, nigga. So I'm saying then, life after death, life after Tupac dies, going back to Cali, 
He hit me six months afterwards, getting on the radio, who shot you and shit, how big he out there talking. Uh, hey, ain't like I stole from him. That's bold, it's such and such. Spitting who shot you on the radio in Cali, slapping them folks in the face, and then when he get hit, everybody wanna act like they don't know nothing like Lil' C's. But back to these niggas, though. Groom, how we came up. A lot of y'all niggas got side chicks, got a main chick at the house, and we promote this shit, because we see a lot of this shit on television, how it ain't no real women, good women. That's a motherfucking lie. I train women. Spanish women, black women, white women, all of them, and all of these motherfuckers are married. Come in, do their shit, go on about their business. I'm just watching this shit, the mindset, what's being promoted today. You hear me? You got a lot of good women out here carrying the load for you fuck niggas that's taking their tax money and shit, blowing the shit. I don't been with women that was in a situation trying to get out the marriage and all that. This nigga here taking her to court to take the money from her. You hear me? I ain't never seen no shit like this shit. Just the mindset like court games and shit. You know what I'm saying? They came looking for this nigga. Here he is, he run out. Snitch on her, saying she in there with the gun acting crazy. That's how she get fucked up. Meanwhile, here they are promoting black queens and they kings and shit. Social tainment, you hear me? Wakanda land, where Wakanda land? And we both played into the shit, so now let's play superhero, how you love the black woman so much, but y'all niggas ain't had no love for him when polite situation was going on, or when Elijah Muhammad accusations came out, y'all niggas stood on that creed what? You hear me? So I never got caught up in the Me Too movement, as far as when it came down to folks saying such and such, cause I already know how these bitch ass niggas is. I got motherfuckers in my family out of seen shit. Women in the house. This nigga got four, five chicks out here doing what he do, come home drunk, put his hands on her, she ain't did shit. You hear me? Carrying the motherfucking load, here he is, such and such, over here making more motherfucking kids while she already got all the responsibilities. You hear me putting up lawyer fees and shit, sticking by the nigga who got a nigga up the road, the nigga up the road got another bitch coming to see him, might be enough fucking home. <laughs> you hear me? I say that to say this, take all the little young niggas up there and Chirac put them all in one room and see how many of them young niggas know what a resume is. Hmm, know about credit scores, mortgage. See how many of them raise their hands and that's the problem right there. We're groomed to be survivors, not groomed to be men. Don't know what the fuck a man is that they say Martin was the greatest of all, but here they are bringing up accusation how he was out here fucking around. <laughs> Polygamy, you hear me? This type shit. What is a man to do? What you bring to the table? Cause now you got side chicks don't even give a fuck about nothing. They tell you you're too nice, you work too much, you seeing motherfuckers like Tom Brady having issues. Steve Harvey say, fuck, I'd rather settle for this shit. <laughs> but what is a man today? How you get upset with the women, blaming the women, when you see a nigga be in their status such and such and get any woman he want, like R. Kelly, Puffy, Diddy, etc., run down the hallway in a motherfucking towel, always naked, snatch a motherfucker, throw him down, turn around, kick him. You hear me? And you hear accusation about Kim knows being broken. Ah, Aaron Hall and him back in the day. Aaron Hall, I miss you. How the fuck he come up in the case? <laughs> and as you see this nigga snatch it, then turn around and put the foot to him, not once but twice, take the glass, throw it, the mindset from a man looking at that, 
from a hood ass spec, so fast nigga. Can't whoop no other nigga. So what they do, they take it out on the females. So what these type dudes are, they very emotional. They'll beat up animals, kids and shit. You hear me? There's something that they lack. You can have 700 some motherfucking millions. But see, when Diddy said that then, he felt like he can go to the war show, speak against the powers about the same shit that he been doing, how Clyde been grooming him. First motherfucker they gonna call to the stand is Clive Davis in his case. So like they say, this case is really about covering Clive ass. But anyway, he wanna sit up here and speak against the power of the same motherfucker that made you nigga, what in this pink shit that you mixing up with this cocaine? <laughs> Excellency, nigga, you really done lost your mind. Many lawsuits that he done brought against the powers that be, do your research. They think it's cash. No. So with R. Kelly and the young girl tape, that tape, like they say, they need something on you. That was the tape. Like that other tape that they're talking about sold on the black web for 500 million. Drake. They saying all kind of names. All kind of names. All of them in one room. Jay-Z, you know Jay-Z. Shit. He with Maria over there. Y'all know who Maria is. Luciferian queen. She be making the cakes like human bodies and they be chopping them up and eating them at these white parties, underground parties and all that, putting her menstrual cycle blood within this cake. They all know her blood, her cycle blood is in this cake, but this is the ritual that they're doing. This is her, who Jay-Z was staring in the eyes, rapping with. So how you get to a status where you get in the party? Some part is off limits. This here, high status. Whew. I get the chills when I be talking about this shit because you know what? I am a certified songwriter, BMI. When they block me with that MAGA hat song, the shit I spoke about did it. All the shit that got flagged back then years ago. Like when they say on Sports Center, you mentioned something about LeBron and steroids and they block you, something ain't right. Like you say something about this needle shit, they block you, something ain't right. Say the wrong shit. And they come out and hit you with that notification. <laughs> Oh, the fact finders, whoever the fuck they say, fact checkers. This ain't right, it's in Google say, <laughs> this is a AI lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> the shit they throw at y'all niggas, the type of shit niggas can't even say online no more. They gotta say, <laughs> S-A. <laughs> Wow, the mindset, how they grooming these niggas. Programs, but then again, like I said before, going back to surviving Diddy. This started at the house, the household, the black household. The same household where you were free of leaving your motherfucking young ones with your crazy ass uncle who stole the PlayStation that you know won't do. You hear me? That same household where you see him beat your mother to a pulp. Like I can't understand how Diddy's son come out. Speaking honor of, no problem. Don't forget your mother. That's her son turning up gray. It's her doing, like the psychic said. Did she tell you that? Overall, I just think this is the perfect opportunity for men to hold that mirror up to their motherfucking self. Stop flying and slops, put no motherfucking super safe. Save a whole, how they say, how the rap nigga said, super save a whole cage now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Yeah, man, pimping ain't dead. These hoes just scared. That's what they said. But then again, when she come out and say, I don't cook, I don't clean. It's a problem, but y'all promote pimping. Pimp name slick back, got cartoons, all kinds of shit. Hold yourselves accountable. You fuck niggas ain't no gods, nigga. Ain't no pharaohs, ain't no kings. Ain't no moguls, no icons. You hear me? You are that same nigga sat right here as I'm sitting today up under numbers, which is a fucking illusion. You are who you are. Y'all threw that battery pack and that check it all back. You hear me? Same way when Wayne kissed Buddy in the Mount Birdman, that's when the gay shit came. Same way when they threw a dress on Young Thug. And y'all accepted this shit. The same way how you was in the club jamming such and such with him, calling him her. And then when you come home and he laid up with him, like Stevie J. <laughs> him. Made that bed. You're gonna die in it. So get your fan page money. Get your blue dot. Get your BBLs. Get your life going. Your daughter. And your sons. Gonna end up just like Lil Combs. The son of Melvin Combs. Another snitch. That's my take on it. I honestly feel stay up, stay dangerous. I am. Truth.